Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where I go over songs that came out this week in EDM. What a shocker, it's straightforward as that. As always, there is a playlist link down below for all of these new 22 new songs that came out this week. Make sure to sort by recently added, and they're also categorized by the uh, how much you like them. The better ones are at the top, the worst ones are at the bottom. So let's start with the bottom. No songs in trash this week, uh, nothing I thought was egregiously bad, um, but almost in trash is uh, I'm With a DJ by Maya. Uh, it's this classic weird Maya sound where she does this, I don't know, her, her style is very unique and experimental and it's a little too much for me sometimes, but this one was just weird. Uh, it's a deep house track about trying to get into a club but not getting denied by the, like getting denied by the bouncer and she's like, I'm with the DJ. It, it's just weird. I, I, don't, I don't know what context you would listen to this and or want to hear it or have it played, but that's that. We move into DNA by Craig David and Galantis. Uh, it's your kind of lifeless commercial slap house. Uh, the singing is okay, but the hook is kind of just devoid of any life. So I, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm a sucker for Galantis, but uh, as of late, yeah, not for me, not, not this new slap house sound. And then we've got Push It by Slushy, Nitro Fun, and Bach Nero. I did a reaction to this because you guys wanted me to because you voted for it. Um, but uh, yeah, now I'm officially done with the Slushy Summer until it comes out, unless there's some other random collaboration on here. But I'm I, I'm done with it for now. It is it, This is like an odd Electro House kind of Slap House style that's like, it's just, it's just an odd track. I was disappointed. I didn't like it. Moving on. Uh, we've got All That Really Matters by Elenium and Teddy Swims. Uh, I expect big energy and dynamics from Elenium, but this song really has none of that. The drop is pretty dead, and uh, it's not even that good for a festival. Like, I, I know Elenium now just plays a lot of music and creates stuff for festivals, but this song I don't even think is good for that setting, honestly. Uh, but let's move into the meh category songs that I thought were just... They're meh. Uh, we've got Castles by Punctual and World's First Cinema. Uh, your kind of classic commercial house sound. Uh, chill beat with the kind of grander sounding vocals on top. Um, just slightly better than something like Galantis would have put out this week. So that's why it's just here in meh. Quality is just a, a little bit higher, I would say. Uh, up next, we've got uh, Bela Comingo uh, by Tiesto. Your kind of classic big room house Tiesto sound uh, with very commercial appeal. Uh, and this one is all for, this one is for the Hispanics out there. Uh, yeah, the Hispanic crowd will absolutely love this track um, by Tiesto. So it, yeah, I don't know. You might like that, but uh, this one's I think will be big in that scene. Uh, as we move into American Psycho by Marshmello and May Miller, I want to say, uh, featuring Trippy Red. Uh, May Miller's, or Moeller, I should say, uh, great vocals on this track. Um, Trippy Reed, awful. So one did really good, one did really bad. Um, and uh, it's a very, very commercial sounding song because there is no, like, drop, really. There's no, like, classic EDM sounding drop. Um, honestly, the most unoffensive Marshmello song as of late. And so that's why it's uh, just here in May. It's really... It's not horrible. It's it's just really unoffensive is the best way to put it. Then we've got Turn On The Lights Again by Fred Again and Swedish House Mafia featuring Future. Uh, a horribly boring track, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, it's not bad. Very similar to American Psycho. It's just unoffensive, kind of bland. Uh, and why, why is Future on this track? I don't understand. The, the feature like pretty much doesn't even exist. He's not really on the song at all. Uh, as we've got uh, next, Move With Purpose, the Stone Bank remix originally by Said the Sky and Oliver the Kid. Uh, the Sentiment, the remixes, has come out now. 22 brand new remixes of songs if you are interested in that style. There's stuff all over the place. Um, but this is uh, a kind of house track from Stone Bank with a kind of uh, trance-sounding sustain synth. Uh, was a, a sound and style we hadn't really heard from Stone Bank really ever we got it a couple times before but it's a very different style of that kind of house trance sound and uh i i just i thought it was just okay so uh up next we've got stay by snouse uh, a very light trap sound here that i would probably say is actually future based in the end if i had to really be critical about it um but nothing really of standout here uh it's a standard snouse track these middle tracks here are just they're like i don't feel much listening to these these songs so that's 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 that as we move into Something by Martin Garrix and Breathe Carolina, a uh, very quick, jagged electro house track uh, with a good melding of their two sounds. Um, this one's weird because it, it, it sounds, you hear the Martin Garrix, you hear the Breathe Carolina, and it works together as their sounds, but like that sound that is the melding of the two is like 
okay. Like it's 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 weird. It's just like yes, this is one, this is two put together makes three, but that three is like a not quite a three. I don't I don't know if that makes sense at all, but that's that's how my brain works. As we move into I Wonder by Zoo, the musical chairs mixtape volume one is out now, and this is the I guess the feature track from this mixtape. Um, it is your I don't have a sentence in a while actually, but sexy deep house. It is very very sexy deep house I would say. Uh, not a whole ton happening in this track, kind of like a lot going on this week honestly. Uh, good beat without a real hook, but uh, that's kind of uh, regular for mixtape sounds and songs, but. So we move on to Power Stone by Cranked Up. I wasn't too keen on Ding Dong, the kind of first uh, song released of this style of Cranked Up, this bass house. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think the bass house Cranked Up really isn't for me. It's not, it's not geared towards me, and the sound is just, I don't know. It feels too linear uh, for a hype track. It just doesn't really get me going like other bass songs do. So, but still not too bad. Then we've got Maria Maria by Kashmir and Aztec. Uh, another big room sound here, uh, but hard to make it really stand out nowadays with this <laughs> this big room sound. I feel like it's been overdone and way, way overdone over the past couple years. And so um, it, it's hard to really do anything different with big room, but even then it's 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 not bad. It's it's not bad. It's here in May. As we finally move into the good category, we've got eight songs, nothing in standout this week, eight songs in good. Uh, we've got New To You by Calvin Harris, uh, Normani, Tanashi, and Offset, I believe. I probably butchered that, but uh, simple, funky beat here from Calvin Harris. I'm actually really excited for the Funk Volume 2 that should be released next week uh, from the time of recording this video, early uh, August, I believe so. I believe that's the release date. I think August 5th, if I'm correct. I, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I'm, I'm excited for that. The singles that have been released, actually, I, I've quite enjoyed, so I'm excited. Uh, then we got Something Beautiful by Tritonal and Eric Lumiere, uh, Lumeri, something like that. Uh, progressive House track of the week is right here. Um, great vocals. I'm not too keen on Progressive House nowadays, but uh, this is some solid Progressive House, I would say, for sure. So, as we've got Step Back by Gammer and Pixel Terror. Uh, yeah, this one's similar to the Martin Garrix and Breathe Carolina track where it's a good melding of the two songs or two styles, but that style, that melding of the style of the sound is, is like good, kind of. Um, yeah, it's a hard dance and dubstep kind of fusion track. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's at the same time, it somehow manages to be lackluster and also very intriguing. It's really weird. I ended up putting it in good. I still don't really know what I think of this track, honestly. I, it needs more time. Uh, as we move into Mirrors by Mazel and Darby featuring Bellella, I want to say. A really unique sound design with this track. Uh, vocals are decent, uh, but it was a cool idea for the sound design. Wasn't super expanded upon, I found, though, uh, but uh, I, did, I did still like it, so... So we move on to As One by What's So Not and Horizon, uh, the, I believe, fourth single from an upcoming album in September, the Anomaly album or LP. Uh, very quirky sound design with this one, a little more brighter than what we've heard normally from What's So Not, uh, but very different style of track from the other three singles or perceived singles from this upcoming project. So I would give this one a listen. I really liked it. Uh, as we got Fly by Bad Computer hitting our podium for the week. Uh, more and more is Bad Computer getting pop orientated, and this is no exception. Uh, I really like this direction, uh, but I'd like to find a kind of happy medium between his like Electro House and pop. I'd like to find something more here. It's very here right now from like being very poppy, but um, yeah, I still, still really enjoy the track, and uh, it's great to listen to with uh, other people for sure. And our runner-up track of the week is Toxic by Boss Fight. The Agony District EP is out, and this was the last kind of single released from that. Uh, it's brooding dubstep that I actually really appreciate, and uh, I just I just found the more I listened to this, the more I really liked it. I loved the kind of distorted guitar mimic sound at the beginning. I'm not sure if it's an actual guitar or if it's just a guitar-like sound, um, but uh, I loved it. I would have liked to hear more of it in the actual drop, but um, yeah, one of the better tracks from this EP, I think, for sure. And our number one song of the week is The Takeover by Chime and The Living Proof. Uh, new Heaven Sent track by Chime. It is heavy hitting dubstep uh, with little sprinkles of color base within there. Uh, I love the distorted synth in that pre-drop and uh, pleasing kind of squeal sounds on the actual drop. Uh, just a super fun, uplifting, just really bright track uh, while still kind of having that heavy dubstep sound to it. So uh, big, big ups for Chime and The Living Proof here. But uh, yeah, that is that this week in EDM. Let me know what you thought of these songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another 